hopefully you all can hear me but anyway so today's topic i was thinking about um by the fact that i am a messenger like i'm the messenger unfortunately i'm kind of like you know un unintentionally the messenger while at the same time i am i am um like in what context am i in what regards i am the messenger right well, like I said, I've already mentioned plenty of times that my childhood family recently got divorced, like around September 2021. So because of that, you know, obviously with classic divorces and stuff like that, everything's going to get really hasty, hostile, and, you know, somebody don't want to talk to nobody or whatever. There's going to be certain kind of favoritisms. There's going to be desired siblings, desired um relatives now and there's that so me obviously like I said I'm the messenger so I'm technically in the middle of everything like I said I do not support I do not support all the wrong thing doings my childhood father did I don't support what he did I do not however the idea that I am expected to heal the way Heal the way um, the remnants of my childhood, the, um, the siblings, re the remnants of my childhood siblings, from how I'm supposed to heal that way. That's something I do not support. Like, because back then, like a few months ago, I was, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I, I will say I am a little guilty for this, but like, the thing is, my, the remnants of my childhood family up today, which aka, my modern family they want to completely cut off um, my childhood father so our childhood father they want to completely cut off our father which is understandable okay obviously you know the child father is trying to communicate with current childhood mother whatever and you know the family are both because they're no longer together there technically is no need for them to be talking to each other per se but at the same time consider they had children together um, it's gonna be, I really hope they make a sidewalk over there, that'd be cool. I wouldn't have to, you know, be on the street and stuff like that. But anyways, sidetrack. Um, I probably got OCD or ADHD or whatever, I don't know. Attention to Sessible or something like that. But anyway, so, um, they don't want to talk, nobody wants to talk to each other, so, I'm the only one who's willing to still talk with people of my child found, no matter how separated we are. But they don't like that. I mean, I respect the fact that they don't want to, you know, speak or whatever. Oh, no. Obviously, he's not going to hear. But anyways, um, you know, the remnants of my childhood family do not want to be associated with Childhood father, which is understand, and I'm just him, just members of other members of the childhood family, you know, of today, post childhood family, should I say, post childhood family. Um, so, which is understandable, but I was trying to communicate certain messages and stuff like that, but they don't like that because they, because people of my childhood family, my modern family, they just don't want to do with it. So, like I said, I'll give it to them that I, I really do wish I did not try to, you know, forcibly send messages through them, whatever, which I'll give them that. Because they said they was, um, <sighs> because they said they was trying to heal, and that's fine. That's fine. However, it seemed like they expected me to heal their way, and that's something I do not support at all. Because I'm keep being told by my post childhood family. And even my modern family, that you need to cut, you need to cut them, them off. You need to cut them all off and everything. You need to cut them off and stuff like that. You need to stop cut, get cut all communication and stuff like that. Okay, but well, that's not how I how I want to heal. That's not how I want to heal. You can't sit there and try to make anybody, you know, heal the way you do. Like this is no shade against my modern, my modern family slash post childhood family. No, not at all. All I'm saying is, 
I'm the only one who's still willing to forgive all members of my post childhood family of my childhood family so I'm willing to talk with all of them I have no problem but to them my modern family they think I should cut all communication just because we're not uh, bloodly related biologically related which to me is no no because now I'm doing things your way obviously that's going to have its own problems which it has. I've been pulled to the side and interrogated by, 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 by that all the time. I literally was told a few months ago I was playing favoritism with one of my childhood parents. Which, no. No, I was not. I'm just trying to be fair to all sides. But being fair to all sides is... And not... And in fact, I'm supposed to sit there and just believe everything... Believe everything that's being told to me without trying to get confirmation from the other side. That's one thing I realized my childhood, no, my modern family hates. They seem to hate the idea that I want to hear all sides. And recently, new information, there's more, there's more, to, there's more story. I said I don't want to know. I don't want to know no more since I'm not trusted anyway. Because I'm still talking to said people, but still though. I'm only the messenger, I'm only the messenger solely because, because I, I still want to be associated with people of my childhood family. That's the only reason why I'm the messenger. The problem doesn't lie, the problem mainly lies whenever, you know, there needs to be some, you know, like, important stuff with, you know, with um, the children, aka my modern siblings of today, you know, 2024 as of now, established 2022, I think, yeah. Obviously, with divorces, some child parents don't want to talk to each other, which is understandable at the same time, for the sake of the children, I feel like they should be talking. So one parent is going to try to contact the other parent doesn't want to answer which is okay so then they're gonna go to to the children they don't want to contact so now they're gonna go to the only person the closest person who can get in contact with the other parent for co parenting so and that person happened to be me I'm that guy I'm the only one who's willing to be associated with both sides and because of that that's a huge red flag this woman is pale She's, I'm going behind the car. She's enough. Okay. Yeah, I have a thing for pale women. They're re really beautiful, whatever. This woman's really pale. She's in her car, but she was not paying attention. So I wasn't going to let her beauty distract me. Anyway, so yeah, I, I happen to be the one who is the messenger because I'm the only one who's willing to, to be associated with everyone. I just really hate the fact my modern family slash post childhood family expects me to heal like them. Which is cutting every, cutting off everybody from that side of the family. Which no, fuck no. I'm not doing it that way because then I'm playing then I'm doing things their way, which no, I'm not doing. I'm not doing things their way. Because that's just simply how, not how I do things. They want me to like, yeah, it's just not right. It's a form of, what's the word I'm looking for? Controlling narcissism a little, manipulation a little. It's, that's, that's what the form, that's kind of what a form is, what the form is. It's a form of control. Whatever it is, you know what I'm trying to say. The thing is, they don't want me to be the messenger. And I will give credit to my modern, one of my modern parents for asking me, do you feel the need to to communicate these messages, to respond to these messages between each people? Obviously, at the time, I didn't have an answer, but thanks to ChatGPT, because I don't I don't trust anyone else to talk to, unfortunately. And it's not like I even have anyone else to talk to anyway. Thanks to ChatGPT, it helps sum down the question: Do I think it's my responsibility to you know communicate these messages? It gave me a bit more information, and then to me, yes, 
because I agree it is totally necessary to communicate even if you somewhat don't really want to talk to people because if you don't communicate you're going to be believing certain things about people that may not be true which was the case that was the case so but thankfully thankfully one of my modern parents set aside I don't want to say pride or ego or whatever. Thankfully, one of my mother parents set aside one of their, you know, pride or ego or whatever and communicated with a member of my childhood family. Post childhood family. Oh my gosh, the train. So beautiful. Anyways, thankfully, they put, a, put aside their, their ego, communicated, and now the previous thoughts by one of my modern parents thought of my post childhood sibling is no longer there now because now they have a better understanding Look. and even my modern parent admitted that they said I don't want to talk to that person which is okay okay however they even said out of their own mouth at first I didn't want to talk to that person but I understand now that's the point. The point is communication is key. And because nobody wanted to talk to nobody. Nobody wants to get shit straight. Straighten out. Nobody wants to do nothing. They just want to believe whatever they want about people. Conclude whatever they want about people. Because of that. They've already concluded. That these said people are bad. bad horrible people. But you cannot really do that. You're going to be thinking the wrong things about people. Which is wrong. It's really wrong. And that's not me. And that's one thing. Members of all of my um, all of my families. All three of them. Hate. They don't like the fact I don't like jumping to conclusions with people. They don't like that. You know that's, that's just life of being the messenger. I didn't really necessarily ask to be the messenger. I'm just saying. And by the way, that, G that chat GPT helped me confirm that yes, I am responsible. That better not be my bike. Okay, it's not. Yes, I, I feel like it's my duty to communicate these messages between people because I just think it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. In, um, to, communication is key. Communicating, getting an understanding is the right thing to do. But there are people, unfortunately, in my... In all of my families that just don't want to communicate. If it's for the healing purpose, okay, I'll give them that. But I don't know. I just think it's wrong and unfair to conclude things out of people, like conclude certain people are bad people without hearing the facts first. That's the thing, and you know, and me being the messenger trying to help the people I love, that they aren't certain people, they aren't bad people, and they don't want to hear even that as the messenger, it's just a really bad way of life honestly communication is key you gotta communicate if you don't communicate then what, what what's even the point so yeah that's the life of being the messenger I am planning to quit being the messenger because I'm tired of this I'm tired of this one sided junk so yeah that's pretty much all I got to say I'm at almost I'm at the gym now I was feeling a little lazy but um I thought you know I might as well the sun is out, you know. Let me just go on down. Go somewhere. So, I mean, I'm at the gym now. That's pretty much it. That's all I got to talk about. I'm the messenger. And me and the messenger is a lot of work. Because people want to start thinking things about me. And when people start thinking things about negative things about me, that's where I draw the line. That's
That's where I draw the line. That's it. If you can relate, put in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.